Hey everybody, it's Mr. Jan again. Time for your cartoony for kids with Mr. Mr. Jan. Yeah. I know. Sorry. Um, so let's see. We did a unicorn. It says the letter U. Letter V is because it's spooky season. Doing a vampire bat. Technically, it still counts because there's the V in it. All right. So. Let's do, it's funny because I remember I've drawn a bat before actually, but so we'll do another bat. Um, so that's, if you want to see one version of a bat, many months ago we did that. So, our vampire bat, we're just going to go uh, with the old giant head because it's adorable, tiny body. So that is our, our head for the bat. It's kind of like you're doing at the top of an ice cream cone or the ice, like an ice cream bar sitting on top of a bean because that makes sense so that's our that's our bat head and you want to do your big bat ears so bats have bat have huge ears that they use to help hear and use their sonar so it's kind of like you're almost drawing a, a skinny football kind of like that and then or bat eyes, you want to do big eyes, just because it's a cartoon, and so it's adorable, big bat eyes. And then so the nose of a bat, we're going to just do, do an oval, and in that oval, you're going to kind of make, it looks like a Y, kind of like that, it's almost a Y, it's almost kind of like giving it nostrils, and then you're going to do a little mouth, and again, just do a little mouth like that and it's little fangs but you don't do pointy fangs because pointy fangs mean scary so run like candy like candy corn fangs that means happy not so scary it's a bat and then with oh going back to the ears you know those little ridges they have in their ears that helps them hear the animals that they look for at night all right so it's a vampire bat so I'm gonna give it a little widow's peak like Dracula. So we're gonna really lean into the hole. It's a vampire bat. <laughs> okay. So now that's flapping, flapping in the wind. So if it's going this way. I kind of had the body. It kind of looks like as if we were doing an oval. So yeah. So we will do literally do the oval like this. That's our bat's body. And then we want to do the wings. It's kind of like the wings going, hey, it's waving at you. So we're going to have a wing kind of, if you're going to, you can imagine it. And see, I'm drawing light, light blue pencil because I need to carry, carry the, the wing through. Like that. So that's one wing going this way. We'll have another wing kind of going this way. So one, one, two, three, three points. So one, two, three. Okay. A little bat, it's a little bat feet. That's this. We're gonna do kind of like rectangle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, rectangle, circle. Little toes. And a little bat tail. That is our vampire bat. Um. Pretty much, yeah, that's the bat. Oh, and then you kind of, you know, do like the bats. You can, like it's a little dividing the wings. So with this one over here, I'm going to put a little claw nubby over there. These are my very scientific terms, you know, the claw nubby. I'm going to kind of extend that out to show this is like the arm of the bat. And then there you go. Then bad eyes. Alright. So that's our quick little uh, vampire bat and now you know we're gonna ink it in. Uh, what do we wanna do?
What do we want to do? Do we use? We'll use the medium point pen, and then we will do this again. The old. So this is a pretty cut and dry uh, drawing. The little white in the middle, the spark of life, and then our nose. It's a big old bat smile. And then we're going to do so, go fur on this, right? So I know we curve it up, but then you can actually have fun with it. Because it is a winged creature. So, again, this is the old way of just, you know, how you draw fur, you just do a little breakup line. So, it kind of shows that it's some fur on it, and then we're going to do this, okay, and then the ears, again, give some fur, like that, and just do like that. So what this comes from is from years of just practice practice, practice, and then just kind of like figuring out what works. So these little, you know, inside the ear, I don't want to go heavy, I'm just going to kind of just go really light. I'm going to curve it. Very light, very light. Okay. And then I'm going to do our body again. I want to show some fur because it's a furry. Wing and nettle. Like that. I like doing this. So even though, you know, we've already drawn out the shapes, you can then have fun with it. Because you know what you're doing. The wings, again, are pretty simple. This one, you just kind of just go straight. Same idea, a little claw nubby. Leathery wings, so you want nice smooth lines if you can. Right, so that's our vampire bat. Um, let's see. A little bit of an open mouth, so we can kind of just do that. And that's okay to do. Alright. So, oh, good. Okay. Just a broad mark, black marker. And again, same idea. I prefer to leave my edges in white. Just a little bit of that. That's okay. Got a pink. That's for the nose. Okay. I want to do it for the ear. And I think just because it's going to be such a cell looking coloring. Just to get some pop against this drawing. Okay. So what I'm going to do, uh, what do we want to do? We will use our watercolor brush. Okay. And, and this is fine. Um, okay. 
I, I try not to go heavy, try to go light, try to just give it a nice wispy quality as you uh, ink it in. It's okay if it does smudge the uh, colors, of the inks. Um, I'm still going to actually add a little bit of brown to this with a colored pencil. But first, we just wanna, let's get this little, uh, let's get this in real quick. So I'm pressing, giving some force to push the ink out to try and make sure I don't do it too heavily. I don't want it to have a big like splotch. So now the ink is really coming out, which is fine, which is fine. And so it still looks okay. I can still do this. It's nice that with this paper it does it does kind of dry fast, so I can still add things to it. Then, we're giggles. Take a little, and just do, let's start over here. I'm just gonna lightly get some color in there. Now, just to be extra, now you can go in with us with a little. This is again, this is how I do fur. You don't want to overdo it, just do enough. And then maybe, bloop, 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 bloop. bloop. Okay. See something. Alright. These are called tricks of the trades, boys and girls. Again, Mr. Jed hates to have something living on a plain white background. So, you work with what you have around you. What I have around me is masking tape. But, this is for my moon. So, I want a little moon and hanging out over here. <laughs> and it's okay. So again, I love I actually love having markers that are running out of color because you get nice little colors out of it. And this is what, how you do the moon. If you want to show that our little bat has friends. I didn't tell you Mr. Jan unless we draw Batman. So that is our little uh okay. and I suppose what we can do is just draw some clouds. happening at night. Those are my little cartoony claws that I do. Um, let me see, so if we're gonna do that, uh, hmm. And that's fine, so, because I can't leave well enough alone, I'll just add this. So this at least gives you the impression that it's nighttime, and our bat is flying through the night sky.
And it's just little things that just help make your drawings pop. And I'll sometimes, you know, I'll sometimes not have it all the way colored in. Because you just want, you want that little shush. There you go. So it kind of works. Um, I'm gonna put somewhere that bottom right V is for vampire. V is for vampire bat. And don't forget, always sign your work. Nobody knows who brought you to the dance. Alright, so there you go. That's your vampire bat. Um, for your Saturday cartoon for kids, Mr. Jan. Ta da! Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you soon, and um, yeah, have a great day, have a great weekend, be safe, be good to each other, and um, don't forget, uh, census ends on October 31st on Halloween, so make sure you do your census, and uh, make sure you register to vote, and uh, we love you, we miss you, we'll see you soon. Come by and say hi, and let us know what you think of all the fun things we're doing over here at Youth Services. Alright, take care, bye! Ah, ah.